Hi everyone and welcome back to another Weebly Wizard tutorial. Um, today we're going to be having a look at uh, one of the new features that Weebly recently introduced which is the slideshow um, banner at the top of your website. Um, so on the website here for Weebly Wizard as an example, um, at the top section here is where we're going to slot in the, um, the kind of slideshow banner um, that the website would feature. So if we jump into um, into Weebly here and we have a look at uh, an example of one of them they've put in. So it's one of the new features and as you can see it kind of it will auto scroll for you and there's different um, versions of effects whether it be a kind of a mosaic effect or a swipe effect between each of the pictures in the slideshow. Alternatively we can click the right arrow or the left arrow and flick through them all. Um, and in the bottom left here we have um, the dots which represent each of the photos or pictures or slides within the slideshow. Um, so let's jump into Weebly and create one of these. So here's our home page, um, and in this page here, I actually want to um, I want to place the uh, the banner or the slideshow at the top. So if we go into our pages section at the top, and then if you notice within each of the pages, um, we have a page layout option, and there are four options. So the left one is um, is a large banner. Um, the next one along is kind of a thinner or narrow uh, uh, banner that doesn't, it's not kind of as, as tall as, um, as the one on the left. Then we have no banner at all, which is the one that you just saw on my page. Alternatively, we have kind of a banner on the right with text and a button on the left. So we'll cover off um, each of these in a different tutorial, but today I just want to cover off the, um, the main banner. So we've got that one highlighted and I'm going to click and uh, edit the home page. And as you can see, Weebly have placed in um, a little banner for us here. Um, I pre-created one um, and as you can see, it's flicking through each of the banners here for me. But I'm just going to show you some of the options um, and how easy it is to actually add another um, banner to the, um, to the slideshow. So if we hover our mouse over, it says edit slideshow or we have some options immediately available to us. And this is basically a shortcut to those four options of header. Um, that I showed you in the previous um, previous page, but we actually want to edit this slideshow here So I'm going to click edit and then we have a number of options. So it's very intuitive We believe uh, they've kind of really come a long way in the last um, 12 months definitely but certainly in the last uh, three or four years in terms of the ease with which you can change settings and, and pictures and banners so at the top here we have the three pictures that I've selected for my website. I can rearrange them by simply dragging and dropping them into the position that I want them to appear um, and the order within the slideshow. Alternatively we have some options here so we can say right transition style. Um, I want them sliding between each slide. Alternatively we can have it fading as you can see here it gives an example. We can have a mosaic which is kind of a squared fade through effect. Um, we can slice through it Alternatively, we can just do a basic fold. So, um, personally, I'm a big fan of the of the slide or the fade. They're a bit more kind of professional, I think. Then, of course, we've got slide delay, which is the duration. How long do you want each slide to appear on your site? Um, I'm going to select five seconds per slide. And then we have a navigation style. So, this is um, this is the the kind of the dots that we can see in the bottom right here of the banner and the arrows. So, do we want the user to actually have the ability to flick between each of them um, of their own accord, or do we not want to kind of dictate um, how they um, how they're represented. So it's always good to I think give a couple of options. So if a, uh, a user's on your site and they say they look at a, look at a banner and they say, oh, I think that was um, something that applied to me or that took my interest. I want to go back to it and click on it. Then they have the um, the option to do that. So I think it's always good to leave an option or some kind of control. But um, you know there there is the option there if you want to change it. So here I'm going to give them the option to give arrows and dots. So arrows are these and the dots are kind of here for the navigation. Um, and then finally, if we have chosen dots, we get to select where in the banner we want to show them. So centered, right or left. Um, I'm actually going to pop them in the center for this one. And then I'm going to click OK. And that's kind of um, the, um, the slides all set up. Now, um, if I wanted to add a slide to this, it's simply a, a case of clicking on add slide. Um, that we can browse in our photos. I can go over to my pictures and I'm actually going to put in a picture of this. Um, this green bean that I photographed a while ago. Okay, so there's my slide that's just been uploaded. So as you can see, it has nothing to do with Weebly tutorials or anything to do with what we're covering today, but I just wanted to show you an example of an image that we can put in the slideshow. Um, I can also edit this slide, and this uh, this editing is specific to this one individual picture, this one slide, not the whole thing. So I can um, move and, and shape and rearrange how this, uh, this picture is displayed. So I'm going to pop that there. I'm happy with that. Click OK, and that's how it's displayed. Simple as that. Um, 
And then once that um, that once that's been done, I can save the slide in the top right. And then it goes back to our options for amending things within the slideshow. Um, and then just finally, we have a couple of other options. So we can actually play it and it gives us an option to look at, um, at what kind of settings we put in and a real live view of it. I can pause that there. Um, we also have the option of adding a caption. Now this just doesn't add a caption like some of the Weebly photographs that you see on your site at the bottom. This actually gives it a background and lays it nicely. So um, if I just type an example of some text in here and click save, you'll see how it's displayed. So um, this works particularly well over images. Um, this is a purpose made banner, but in the example of the um, of the, uh, the photograph I have here. So if I say example um, of text in this, uh, this little caption here, you'll see on a photograph, um, it just adds um, a, a bit more kind of depth and a bit more focus onto the uh, onto the text itself. So particularly useful for photographs, um, not so much with banners that you purposefully already added the text to, such as this one. And then just finally, we can also link this um, this particular slide to uh, various areas of the website, um, to an external website. We can link it to a file um, on my website that I've already uploaded, or I can upload one, or an email address. So plenty of options, and then if we've already put one in, I can just remove that link and it takes it away for me. Um, and then um, just before we finally decide to save it, we get a few other options. So I can save it to this page only. So if I choose that, this banner will only appear on my home page. Alternatively, I can save it to every page. So all pages on my website will show it, or just selected pages, and that will bring up um, a menu for me to select the pages that I want this banner to show on. Um, it's really as simple as that. For the, for, the, uh, for the example I've got here, so these banners that I've actually created, what we can actually do is um, at the top here it gives you the header size the dimension so I've gone into um, in this instance I went into paint.net my image editing software and I just created a few basic banners um, in that software so very easy to do um, it's simply a case of uh, kind of clicking in making the uh, the banner the, the dimensions that you need it um, and then and then saving it as a JPEG and adding it to here so very simple so I'm finally going to um, click save and uh, save to this page only and there we go. We um, This is my home page and we have the banner at the top and it auto scrolls. We have the navigation to flick through it. Um, and it really is as simple as that. Um, so I'm just uh, jump back into the Weebly blog here. And um, it's really important that you keep an eye on the Weebly blog just for some updates. And um, of course, they're, they're kind of very um, kind of theme centric at the moment. So they're adding plenty of themes. A lot of the themes that date back, you know, probably even as um, even as recently as 18 months, two years ago, um, are quite dated. Um, they don't look as smooth, as slick, um, as clean, um, with as, as much kind of concentrated white space as some of the themes that we have available um, to us um, with the new ones. So I encourage you to go in there, check out the new themes, just give them a go, have a test website. It's all for free, so um, just practice some of your skills. Next time, we might have a look at some um, some of uh, other kind of new features that they introduce, such as the social media um, buttons that you can place onto your website. So um, thanks for watching. Click subscribe down at the bottom if you like the video. Then just click like and share it amongst your friends and jump in and give a go um, at some of the uh, some of the things we covered today. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and uh, join me again next time.